Wilfried Zaha vs. Cristiano Ronaldo in Saudi Arabia? Offers for Zaha, 30, who might be available on a free move at the conclusion of the season, are pouring in as his situation at Palace continues to appear gloomy. The Daily Mail reports that Al Ittihad in the Saudi Pro League has given Zaha the most expensive deal in the club's history, despite the fact that he has been connected with moves to more seasoned Premier League teams. According to the story, Al Ittihad's contract is worth close to £200,000 per week when all incentives are taken into account. This is the equal of a £320,000 per week agreement in the Premier League. The international player from Ivory Coast is only concerned with completing the current campaign as well as he can before making a decision about the future, but he is generating a lot of interest, with AC Milan also keeping an eye on him. At the start of 2023, Cristiano Ronaldo stunned the world by moving to Al Nasser on a free move. At the same time, his new club was interested in acquiring Zaha, which would have made the two of them teammates. But by giving Zaha such a sizable deal, al Ittihad, who was in a battle with Nasser for the Saudi Pro League Championship, has gained the upper hand. The 30-year-old recently made a full recovery from an illness, and he will be crucial to Palace's fight to stay in the Premier League before possibly leaving. Since leaving Manchester United for Saudi Arabia in November, Cristiano Ronaldo has delivered goals and helpers as anticipated. The 38-year-old, however, will have been let down by a few hiccups in the beginning of his Al Nasser tenure. Beginning with his introduction, Ronaldo made a splashy close to 2022 by moving to the Middle East on December 30th. He signed a deal through July 2025 that is allegedly worth about £177 million annually. Thousands of people lined the streets to greet one of football's best players as he was introduced as an Al Nasser star. He got a cordial reception in Riyadh, but a week later in January, when Grêmio revealed Luis Suarez following his free move back to South America, Ronaldo's debut was embarrassed. Nearly three times as many spectators cheered Suarez at the Arena de Grêmio as cheered Ronaldo during his Saudi greeting. Then, in his first two competitive games for Al Nasser, Ronaldo went scoreless, and in the second, their foes al had eliminated them from the Saudi Super Cup, the five-time Ballon d'Or champion declared his job in Europe was finished upon joining the team and agreeing to a two-and-a-half-year deal. Al Nasser chief Rudy Garcia stated he would visit the continent before hanging up his boots, so it appears as though his plans have already altered. He is one of the greatest athletes in the world, Garcia said a few days after al Ittihad's loss. Al Nasser will not be where he completes his tenure. He'll go back to Europe. Free registration and incentives for the National Lottery. How to reduce costs while having a great time during National Lottery Open Week. After Al Nasser's defeat, Cristiano Ronaldo loses his cool and smashes a container. The cost of belly fat removal without surgery might surprise you.